What's up guys, Jarv here and we're back again with some Destiny 2. Now today saw the launch of the Dawning and today we've got a fantastic farm for you guys for the essence of the Dawning. This is a key material that you're going to need to be able to bake some of those sweet treats. So I've got what I believe to be a great way of getting plenty of that in a short space of time. So if you enjoy the video, feel free to leave a rating. And if you are new to the channel and want to see more D2 content, then feel free to hit that sub button if you wish. But without further delay, let's jump into it. So as we said at the beginning, today saw the launch of the Dawning. And this year's event requires us to bake some sweet treats for all our friends around the solar system. So it's a little bit different to what we're used to, but it does mean we have to approach this slightly differently. So how we're going to play this one out, in the video description of this video I'll have the recipes for all the treats for all the NPCs. So if there's a particular one you're looking for, head up to the video description and all the details will be there. Now throughout this event as you'll see there's a list of ingredients, these are the list of the first ingredients. We have the Vex milk which is from Vex enemies, Ether from Fallen, Cabal oil obviously from Cabal, Chintin which is from the Hive, Taken Butter, which is self-explanatory, and then Dark Ether Cane, which is from the Scorn. So just in case you weren't too sure, I thought I'd list those off there, just as a reference point in case you're a little bit stuck. Now moving on to the second list, this is a little bit more difficult, so they aren't as obvious as the first list. So we've got Delicious Explosion, so anything with a rocket launcher, grenade or grenade launcher will get you that. The Sharp Flavor, which is with sword kills, Impossible Heat, which is anything with a solar damage, Electric flavor is arc damage and null taste for void damage. Flash of inspiration, you'll get that from creating orbs. Personal touch, melee kills. Perfect taste, which is for precision kills and bullet sprays. So anything with an SMG, light machine gun or an auto rifle, any kills has a chance to get that drop for you. So that's how you get the basic ingredients. But there's one key ingredient that you need for everything that you bake and that's the essence of dawning. Now you get this from activities throughout the whole of solar system. This can be anything from a patrol to a public event, a game of gambit, crucible, nightfall, strikes, anything like that. You get varying amounts of this drop towards the end. Now today I've been having a little bit of a go to try and find out where is the best place to get this because ultimately you need 15 per item that you bake. So it's something you're going to need to get quite a lot of in a relatively short space of time. Now we had a little bit of a go with the Nightfall here. Now we were running it with the max modifier with Arc because at the moment there seems to be a little bit of a bug where it doesn't actually apply the full damage so it means you can get relatively high scores. And we were finding that we were getting between 24 and 30 drop in what effectively is a six to seven minute run. You could probably run it faster but it's a very short space of time and you get a relatively large amount of essence as a result. So we ran this quite a few times just to get an idea of does the score impact the amount that you receive at the end? And all in all, the answer to that appears to be no. Our highest scoring run actually received less at the end than our lower scoring run, although our higher scoring run was a slightly longer run. So whether it's linked to time rather than score, then let me know in the comments below and let me know how many that you receive at the end of your runs. But this week we have the Strange Terrain. This is one of the easiest Nightfalls to farm. Not only have you got the chance of the Osprey Rocket Launcher for your Wayfarer, but it's a fantastic way to get your Essence. As you see, I got 24 in this run. And in my second run here, I got 28. And my friend Siva, he actually got 30 on one of his runs. So it's a very rewarding farm and a very quick one to do. So I hope you guys find this one useful and you're able to get as many materials as I am. If you found the video useful, definitely feel free to leave a rating. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here and want to see more Destiny 2 videos and guides, then feel free to hit that sub button on your way out as well. I'm going to jump back into the game and I will catch you guys very soon. Peace.